Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday morning. It is 929 and we are moving along. Today the heat index is nearing 100 degrees. Okay. Um, today the mail is super light. Our packages, uh, they could be better, but that's okay. Uh, manager comes around and says that they want us to take all the Advos, the red plums, every one of them. We're supposed to get our red plums um, on Saturday delivered to our case by the clerks. And lately, we haven't gotten our red plums until like Thursday, Friday, and then they want them delivered by Saturday. That's a lot, okay? Anyway, we just got them today, and they want us to take them out today and deliver them all. Well, I've got them with me. Delivering them, delivering them all? But, uh, no, probably, uh, no, probably half of them. Anyway, 100 degrees, okay? And they come around and ask me how much time, what time. I said, I'll be done by 5.15. I need 45 minutes. Because when it comes to the heat, I do take my breaks. When it gets this hot, I will take breaks. I will, st I will cool down because this heat will literally kill you. I don't play around in the heat. Now, I may rush and run around when it's cool and, and cold. But not when it's like this because I'm not trying to, oh my gosh. One time, I, I pushed it too far and I almost thought I was going to have a stroke. But anyway, um, and I said, you know, I need 45 minutes. And uh, they're like, nope, 5 o'clock. And I, I, at, th at this point, I don't even argue. I just like, all right, but I'm still taking 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm not. Um, the one thing about our manager that we really love, the manager that we really love, and he does, he's not around as much, but he is back, is – you know, he gives us not, well, I guess like a pep talk in the morning. I don't need my back, back padded or I don't need all that. But it's nice because when he's there and it's this hot, he'll give us, he'll say, hey, don't forget to take your water. Don't forget to take your breaks. You know, safety is the most important thing. Slow down, heat exhaustion. They're supposed to stress this heat thing. We have these stickers in our truck everywhere about heat exhaustion. Like everything, very, supposed to be really big on that, okay? We're out here 10 hours a day in the direct sunlight, breaking our butts to try to get the mail done. You know, I think sometimes people think that I'm out here on a leisurely stroll, like on my neighborhood, like they think I'm just cruising along. I'm not cruising. I may be cruising, but I'm cruising because I got a time limit on my head. I got a clock right up here clocking me. It's going to be a good day. And if I get done before 515, I really don't think that I will. But, you know, we'll see what happens because it's going to be really hot. I got plenty of water. I took a whole case of water with me today. Went to 7-Eleven and I bought, I was like, let me buy a bag of ice, you know, because usually I go in there and just take the ice. They never say anything, but I was like, you know what? Let me buy a bag. And I got in line and the lady in front of me bought my ice for me. She said, because she feels sorry for me. Just like the lady on one of my streets the other week, last week, uh, she came out and she's real sweet to me. She does this every couple months. She'll give me $20 and she gave me $20 to go buy lunch. And she said, because she felt sorry for me. <laughs> that's what she said. And that's what the lady at 7-Eleven said. She said, I feel sorry for you. So I was like, all right. But that was really nice that she bought me some ice. But anyway, I need to get moving. I just want to pop in and say, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I will try to check back in with you later and uh, let you know how much water I'm drinking. I mean, maybe, I'm sure you guys are wanting to know. It's riveting information how much water I drink a day. But I'm going to tell you. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hello, hello. It is 1.15 and I'm so hot. I got some ice. Oh, my God. I'm so hot, man. It's like 95 degrees is what the temperature is reading. I don't know what the heat index is, but this feels so good. We're doing good on time. I have to give up on my red plums. I've did, I've done up until now, which is half of my route. I just can't, I can't. I just wanted to pop in and say, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're not sweating. This is sweat. Okay. <laughs> but this ice feels so good. I'm going to eat my peanut butter and jelly and drink some more Gatorade. I have had two uh, 28 ounce Gatorades and two waters so far. So anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to finish up my book. I think that I only have, um, oh, I think it's almost done. I think maybe an hour. I don't know. You know what I like to do is I like to take ice cubes from my cooler and I'll sit them right here, <laughs> right there. So they're like melting. That feels good. Anyway, I'm going to go and I will talk to you later. Look at that, guys. 
This truck is 110 degrees and I believe it. I'm a sweaty mess. Plus, I filled up my gas tank today and it cost $85 to do that. Love, hold me now. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. Hello, hello, we are home. It is 5.30. I got off at 4.30. I made it. However, I did not finish my red plums. That didn't happen. I made it, I'm disgusting. I'm throwing down in the kitchen, I'm making some dinner. I'm making that chicken bacon ranch um, casserole. Frying the bacon. Yeah, I got done at 4.30, all right? I thought it was gonna be 5.15, but the mail was really light and I gave up on the red plums halfway through. If I had continued them, it would have been 5.15. Technically, they told me to be back by five, okay? So I would have had to give up on them anyway. Anyway, doesn't matter, I'm home now. It is 5.30, I'm gonna put this all together and then put it in the oven and then take a shower because I am, gosh, gross, man. Disgusting. Um, it is hard to decide like what to make every night for dinner. I mean, I don't cook every single night, but the more, majority, I feel like I do. And trying to decide what to cook is very hard. And then trying to keep it keto is very hard. When my other half does wants the rice, wants the pasta, wants the potatoes, and I'll make it, I don't care. I'll, but it's very tempting, okay? I haven't like full on gone crazy and like ate a whole bucket of rice. But like um, when we saw the movie, yes, I ate the whole gosh darn thing of rice and um, it had sushi. So yeah, I ate it all. But anyway, it's just hard when I'm cooking the things that I, I really want to eat. Um, like last night I made spaghetti, but I had that salmon and um, salad and that was really good. And I didn't eat the noodles. Cause like sometimes when I make the spaghetti, I'm like, I have to taste it and test it and make sure it's done. Uh, but I didn't do it. So I've been, I have been very good. I mean, I'm not, I'm doing the best that I can do with all these stupid temptations around me. But anyway, just like tonight, I'm making the chicken bacon ranch casserole, which is 100% keto, but then I made a little pot of rice. I just want to pop in and say hello. That was a long hello. I hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, throw this in the oven, and take a shower. Eddie has to be at work at 3.30, so he has to get up at 2.30, so I'm going to go ahead and pack all of his lunch so that I don't have to get up. This is what's going to go into his lunchbox. Some chips, beef jerky, a half of a sandwich, some grapes, um, and this stuff, like, he's probably not going to eat it, but I keep it in here anyway, like a Pop-Tart, some crackers, um, and then I put a monster in here because he's getting up so early some waters um, I do put something in this little thermos and then I froze two waters that I'll put in here and then two Gatorades will also go in here so it is a it is a packed packed lunch because sometimes he works 13 14 hours so you know while it looks like it's a lot it's got to last sometimes 13 14 hours a day I just pack what he likes so all of this will go in here in the morning. You guessed it, I fell asleep. I did get up with Eddie at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, went back to sleep, then turned off all my alarms. It is only 6.20. I like to leave the house at 7.20. I've got a full hour, but I have a schedule of how I my morning goes, and I'm running late, because I like to get up at 5.30. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog. I will talk to you tomorrow, later today. As always, I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye everyone.